We're all organizing your digital notes to real-time collaboration. OneNote is a powerful yet simple app that doesn't quite get the recognition it deserves. So before you start taking notes in your next meeting, check out what OneNote can do for you. Hey everybody, Steve with the Protected Trust Training Department here, and today we're gonna to be looking at the five things that you should know before using OneNote. Helping me demonstrate some of these handy features is Jake with our project management team, because if you are going to find an expert on note-taking, you'll do no better than a project manager. Steve literally gave me no choice. Starting with number five, the two OneNotes. There is a bit of confusion for most people when they want to start using OneNote. Which OneNote should they use? You see, it's possible for two versions of OneNote to be on your computer. If you use Office 365, you'll see OneNote 2016. If you are running Windows 10 on your PC, you'll see an application just called OneNote, no 2016 following it. If you use both Office 365 and Windows 10, then you'll see both OneNote 2016 and just OneNote. So, which OneNote should you pick? Normally we would say OneNote 2016, the Office 365 OneNote, is the clear winner since it gives a few more features than the OneNote that comes with Windows 10, such as video recording your meetings or applying templates. However, Microsoft has already made plans to remove OneNote from the next release of Office, Office 2019, and just have OneNote come with Windows 10 by default. That means, as soon as Office 2019 is released, all updates for OneNote will be coming from the Windows 10 application, and none for the 365 version. So, though OneNote for Windows 10 may lack some features, it will be getting numerous updates. Plus, the Windows 10 version of OneNote was designed with better inking recognition, so for the rest of the video, we'll be showing the Windows 10 version of OneNote. Number 4. Use a pen. Though you can use OneNote with the keyboard, we much prefer using it with a pen. Now, for this tip to work, you'll need a computer or tablet that is compatible with a stylus. Here we are using Jake Surface Pro and Pen to demonstrate. Not only is Jake able to easily maneuver around his notebook, He's also able to do things like convert written words to text. Number three, stay organized. Just like with a physical notebook, if you don't keep it organized, it becomes hard to find the information you're looking for. If this is your first time using OneNote, try creating a new section for each month of the year and creating a new page for the meeting topic. So if you have a reoccurring meeting every month, such as HR, finance, or staff meetings, create a page and title the meeting accordingly. Number two, use team notebooks. A common problem we see even in our own office is file management. What good are your notes if no one else in your team can see them? Instead of taking notes in your notebook, open up a team notebook so your teammates can easily find the notes from your meeting. Don't want to switch between two applications? That's okay too. If you use the Teams application, open your Team OneNote straight from the app and start taking your notes. Everything written here will be available for your teammates to view and collaborate. Number one, collaboration. Speaking of collaborating with your team, OneNote has built-in technology for you and anyone you share your notebook with to make real-time edits. So no longer does one person need to be the keeper of the notes. With real-time collaboration, I can work simultaneously with one or multiple teammates. That way, we are all collaborating in one document and not emailing different versions back and forth. Now that you're armed with these five tips, get out there and start taking better notes. I'm Steve with the Protected Trust Training Department, and we'll see you next time.